Good evening, it's time for another beer review. Um, this time it is an American Pale Ale that I call Delta G. So um, hopefully uh, we'll feel the force with this one. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, so um, never brewed this one before. Um, sort of a made up recipe um, using some um, Delta hops that I haven't really used um, too much now. I uh, used it into to, to do dry hop some cider, um, so got some decent results from that. So it'll be interested to see what it's like. Um, grain bill was as follows: three eight eight grams of Munich, one nine four of caramel, one nine four of golden promise, ninety seven of Maris Altar, fifty four grams of wheat. I uh, was aiming for forty two IBUs and six point four percent, and I ended up six point one. So I've lost a few points in that. Um, so, uh, hops in this one were uh, Summit uh, to is the bittering hop, 4 grams at 60, um, 4.5 grams of Delta at 5, 1.5 grams of Galaxy at 5, and finally 5.5 5 grams of Delta at Flame Out and used Safel US05. So, let's see what she is like. Big Hess, a bit of cannon smoke, maybe you can't see that on camera. It's a lovely evening tonight, so I haven't got any lights on, it's just natural light. So, uh, this seems as if it's quite lively in a good way. I'll just put it in this glass just because it's a 500ml bottle and I know it'll fit in this glass. Um, I didn't want to put it in the IPA speed light um, because I don't think I would be able to fit it all in. So I think that's running, I think I've probably got a little bit of sediment in there because I couldn't really see in this light. But other than a small section about here, that's almost crystal clear. That's the sunlight behind me. So uh, that's a, sort of a nice golden colour. Um, yeah, sort of, certainly in the sunlight, it's kind of a, a marmalade orange colour. Uh, quite inviting, um, sort of quite small bubbles on that. Um, can't see if there's much lacing at the moment, but uh, slightly sweet on the nose. Um, Galaxy is meant to be quite tropical, well, not tropical passion fruit, I think. Um, so I'm not getting tropical, but there is only a small amount of Galaxy. Um, do I get pear and uh, pear and what's delta meant to be pear and something pineapple pear and pineapple let's smell because I thought the pear and the pineapple well actually do I get a bit of something that I recognise the smell from the cider that I dry hopped with this so there is some kind of element of sweetness pear, pineapple, kind of, faint, but then I've not dry hopped this, so I'm not expecting it to be too uh, too strong. I just wanted to see what this was going to be like um, first and then tweak it if there's, if it's showing a bit of promise. Um, no pun intended with uh, Golden Promise being in there. But yeah, um, reasonably pleasant uh, on the aroma, but uh, quite a nice cap on it. All important, let's uh, see what the taste is like. Just doing this, just doing this for uh, effect, really, more than anything in the sun. Yeah, that's pleasant. Um, <clears throat> it's meant to be forty-two IBUs. Um, certainly, don't taste the IBUs at all, which is. Um, a good thing. Um, detects a little bit of bit bitterness there, but it's not strong. Um, I can't say I'm really picking up on the Delta hops or the Galaxy on the taste at all, but I didn't do a Whirlpool edition or any dry hops in this, so I guess that's probably the reason why. Um, you do, uh, because of that, you do actually pick up the um, malt profile. So it's an American Pale Ale that actually has quite a, a malt profile to it. Um, you definitely kind of pick up the Munich, 
There's a bit of sweetness from the caramel. Um, golden prawns, more salty. They're just base malt, so you, I guess you, they're reasonably distinguishable, but they're not certainly the star attraction. And a bit of wheat is just there for the head retention, which has obviously worked. So that's quite a, a good proportion. Um, that head retention is quite good. Um, and um, in terms of the mouthfeel. Medium bodied, I would say. Yeah, medium bodied mouthfeel. Uh, really nice mouthfeel actually, very smooth. Um, very smooth. Um, <clears throat> do you taste the 6.1%? No, wouldn't say so. Um, all in all, um, for version 1, I would say it's a decent attempt. Um, I would definitely brew this again. I would definitely tweak it. Um, I think I would probably stick with the same malt uh, profile. And I think what I would do was I would really give this a, a, a heavy whirlpool and dry hop because um, I think that would really sort of complement the um, the malts in there. Um, so am I disappointed? Maybe a little bit, but then I did choose not to have a whirlpool or dry hop in this, so that's really on me, not on, on the beer itself. Um, it's a decent quality beer, it's drinkable, uh, non-offensive, um, you can taste the malts, um, it's a shame the, the, the hops aren't really coming through, but um, like I said, not bad, not bad. And I will create a second version of this at some point in the future. So um, that's it for really for this beer review, and um, if you like this, please like, if you love it, please subscribe. If you want to add any comments, please do, I welcome uh, all comments. Um, and hope you like this beer review and uh, hopefully to see you for the next one. Okay, cheers.